Hello viewers, my name is Sumon. Welcome back to another civil engineering tutorial. In this video, we will look into how to read and measure by a 16 feet or 5 meter measurement tape. So, you will learn from A to Z of a measurement tape clearly. Just stay here till the end of this video. You might know that measurement tape is used everywhere in the most of the civil jobs like civil construction, mechanical jobs as well as any kind of measurement job. So in this video we will look into basics of measurement tape. How can we read the measurement tape in centimeter and millimeter? How can we read the measurement tape in feet or inches? So without getting any further delay, let's jump into the key content. Alright, basically every measurement tape always shows accurate and precise reading. Every engineer, on-site workers has to be very prompt to take an accurate measurement. So here are some types of measurement tapes we can use. Cloth or linen tape, metric steel tape, invert tape. So here I am taking a prototype of 16 feet or 5 meter steel measurement tape. This type of steel or metric tape comes with outer casing, thumb lock, blade or tape, hook and coming to the back side of the tape there is a back lock. Anyway let's see the most important fact. Blade or tape is mainly colored with premium yellow or white paint in background and black colored strips and numberings. As you can see, the upper half layer is showing the imperial units such as in feet and inches and lower layer showing metric units such as millimeter, centimeter and meter. Coming to the metric units, each smallest division shows 1 mm span between strips. So 10 numbers of small strips are showing a reading of 1 cm or you can say 10 mm. The 1 cm is numbered as in 1 in black color. As you might know 1 cm equals to 10 mm. Similarly, if we move further, it will count the reading as 11 mm, 12 mm, 13 mm to 20 mm. This 20 mm is nothing but 2 cm. Here also, 2 cm is denoted by 2 in black color. Now, if we take the reading of 100 cm, which is nothing but 1000 mm or you can say 1 meter right so this 1 meter mark is shown in bold font with red color so by this way you can take the dimension of any object and read the measurement as in millimeter or centimeter remember that you just have to count each strip with millimeter so if you count a total of 1200 millimeter then divide it by 10 so you will get 120 centimeter that is from millimeter to centimeter accordingly if you are again doing 1200 divided by 1000 then you will get the value of 1.2 meter right that is from millimeter to meter these are the standard conversion formulas how simple and wonderful is that right so for 5 meter steel tape, the total numbers of smallest division will be 5000 millimeter or 500 centimeter. Now for your better understanding, let's do some random measurements and find out the accurate dimension or measurement. How much level does this column have from base? Answer is 90 centimeter or 900 millimeter plus 16 millimeter so total reading in metric is of 916 millimeter from base of the column or if we divide 
with 1000 then it comes about 0 0.916 meter so let's take another one here it's measured as 90 centimeter or 900 millimeter plus 53 millimeter so total reading in metric is 953 millimeter from the base of the column or if we divide with 1000 then it comes about 0 0.953 meter i think all of you have a clear concept till now so till now we got the clear idea about how to read a measurement tape in metric that is in millimeter centimeter and meter format but now we will look into the imperial format which is done in feet and inches here you all can see the counting numbers in big black color format these numbers are showing for units of inches that is one inch two inch three inch and so on remember that one inch is equals to 2.54 centimeter or 25.4 millimeter here you can see the comparison between millimeter to inches so coming to inches 12 inches shows a measurement of one foot and cumulative of 24 inches shows 2 feet, 36 inches shows 3 feet and so on. One more thing is that for better reading the 1-1 one mark that is 1 is for 1 foot and 1 is for 1 inch value which is nothing but 13 inch. Same typical readings are mentioned for your better understanding like 1 foot 2 inches 1 foot 3 inches and so on anyways now each inch is divided into 8 subunits these are known to us as suit or sutas in ordinary language of india out of these 8 suits there is also divided into 2 parts so total numbers of parts are of 16 units for a single inch dimension these divisions are shown in these diagrams now in between each of the measurement there are 16 divisions and half of these 16 divisions that is at eighth division it shows half of inches and again in between the half of inches there are eight divisions and half of the eight divisions that is at fourth division strip mark it shows one by fourth of inches or three by fourth of inches by the way i already made a video on how to measure suit value in that video i have discussed everything about the relationship between suit and inches i will provide the link in the description box and card you can look at the video also for further clarification so that's it for today i hope you got the clear concept but if you have any questions or suggestions please leave it in comment section i will definitely try to answer all your words please do like share and subscribe to this civil unboxing channel